hello and welcome back to the channel if you are new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the awesome tutorials we have in store for you today we are going to be creating qr codes with python yes you heard me right creating qr codes can be as easy as pi with just a few lines of python code in this tutorial we are going to be super straightforward I'll be showing you the Python libraries you'll be using, how to generate the basic QR codes, how to customize the QR codes that you've created, and how to save them. As always, the code and resources are available in the description below, so let's jump right in. The library we'll be using is called QR Code. So if you come to PyPy and search for QR Code, you'll see QR Code in here. 7.42 there are other versions too but i'll be sticking to this one so if you want to install it you can install pip install qr code for more image functionalities with qr code and pil dependencies which is the pillow so you you use this uh this script pip install qr code pill now with this you can easily create a qr code and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll be using VS Code as my IDE. You can use Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, uh, any ID you want, PyCharm, Colab, and all that. But I'll be using uh, VS Code in this tutorial. So to install, I just copy that and I'll paste this in here. So I'll just run this and um, we wait for the magic to happen. Right, because I've already installed this before, I'm seeing requirements already satisfied. For some of you that don't, that don't have this installed, you might see the installation uh, lines a little bit different. So yeah, what? The, the installation is done by running this cell. Once this is done, you are ready to start creating your QR code. So the first part is we are going to be creating uh, the QR codes. But before that, I have uh, some assets here, which is the YouTube logo and uh, a pick no background. It's just to show you the different uh, version of how to install and customize your QR code. So the first part is I'll be creating a plain QR code without any customization, just QR code with uh, basic um, uh, data that we want to use. So I'm going to start by importing QR code. And because Pillow is already installed as part of this, which is this guy in here, we don't have to specifically install it. So we can say from, we can say from PIL import image and that's all with the import. So what we need to do is have a QR, which is going to be our QR code dot uh, QR code. Uh, this is, yeah. So we have a version, which is going to be version one. The box size could be maybe, I don't know, maybe says, let's say 10 and the border could be maybe two. You, you can you can play around with the parameters, but we, we stick to that for now. So we have qr.addData. So this is where, this is going to give us an instance of the QR code that we're going to, at this point, we have an empty QR code without any data at this point. So we want to add data to it so we can have uh, access to, anybody that scans the uh, QR code, can have access to whatever data that is embedded in the QR code. So I'm going to add data to it and uh, it's going to be https www.youtube.com slash add code with you. All right, so this is going to be the data in our QR code. So if I do qr.make and I say fit equals to true, by default, I think it's true, but we can pass it. Uh, specifically once that is done we have a qr code with embedded data which is this um, channel name so if i have an image which is going to be qr.make image right and i have the fill color which is going to be the black the black color and then the back color back color is going to be white so we are going to have image uh, img.save and have qr code.png. So at this point, our QR code is done. With just five lines of code, we've been able to create uh, 
a QR code. So if I run this, I have a QR code generated. And if you scan this with your camera, you should see a QR code leading to this channel. So that's the first part. The second part is where you want to customize this. Maybe you have a logo that you want to add into this QR code. So this is going to be, uh, let's say QR code, uh, maybe plain QR code, I'll call this plain QR code. I'll just do this, the plain QR code. Now we want to uh, add a logo to the QR code. So with a logo or image, right? whatever it is, I, I'll just stick to logo for now. Okay. Now if we do the same import, just like we did in here. I'll just copy paste this. I'm too lazy to type. <laughs> All right. So we do the same at this point, uh, get our access to our QR code. Right. Then we had our data to it, which is this guy still the same okay then i can have a qr let's say image equals to a qr dot make image all right so i want to fill the color with different stuff now i have a this time around it's going to be red uh back color would be uh white now this white doesn't have to be white it could be transparent or any other color so but i'm just sticking to white it doesn't really matter what we use so now this is this tricky part where we uh the the form part not really tricky <laughs> we just had the logo at this point or whatever image you want to use so i'll be using the youtube logo for this uh this section so i'm going to have logo because i'm going to open this with a pillow which is going to go into the current i have a youtube logo okay and uh, i'm going to do a resize resize to let's say 75 by 75 right so once that is done uh, i have youtube logo and i'm resizing this to 75 by 75 okay and uh, i'm going to resize it with an algorithm from pillow called lank zos right the other algorithms but some are deprecated i think the latest one is lank zos so you can look it up in the documentation uh so now this is where we we do a little bit of calculation so we we put the image at the center of the screen of the uh, QR code. So if it is big enough, if it is too big, the data will be lost. So it, it shouldn't be too small, so it's readable, but it shouldn't be too big that it covers some part of the QR code, so it's readable. So what we're going to do is going to have an offset at this point. I'm going to have uh, a QR image, which is the QR image, okay? then. Because this is going to be an, a, a matrix, so I'm going to get the first index of that. Then I'm going to subtract the same size in here. So because it's going to be 75 by 75, so I just subtract the size. So it comes back to the original position. So this gives me the, the position at that point. Then, then I divide this by 2. I'll do the same for the height, which is the QR image. Okay. Then that's uh no not the i think it's the size yeah the size and then i get the, the first index i subtract 75 from that okay then i divide this by two so this is going to give me the the position at the center of the um the qr code itself then what we just need to do is we want to overlay this logo on the qr code so we do qr image dot paste okay and then we have the logo, we have the offsets. Then we just do a mask, which is going to be logo dot split. We get the first, the third one, and then 
if the logo the mode equals to rgba oh no all right so what we are doing here we are trying to overlay this particular logo at this particular offset all right then we just do qr uh, image dot save okay so we have qr with logo dot png and that's it so if i run this let's see what are we missing it says no it's not a mask it's a mask <laughs> mask okay it says qr img all right okay yeah that's it so we have a qr with logo you can see we have a, a youtube logo at this point so the reason why it's not filling the color is not it's instead of fill it should be fill column which is supposed to be red and uh, and you can see it's sitting there pretty nicely and if we want to change the the fill color to let's say black so it's distinctive we have uh, something like this which is this and uh, if we go back to red everything is uh, presented as red okay yeah so the last part is where i want to show you how to put the background image to the qr code so we're still going to use the same code but we just uh, adjust it a little bit uh, so i'll just copy paste this particular code all right and uh, we load our logo now and the background so add image background So for the image background, we're going to have uh, BG equals to image dot open. So I'm going to use click no BG. Then we're going to create our QR code now, like we did in here. But instead of making the image directly, I'm going to move this a little bit down in here so once we have our data and then we have our image so what we need to do is change these parameters so we just uh, do some import at this point uh, we say from qr code dot image styled pi i'm going to be importing styled build image and then from qr code dot image dot styles dot color mask i'm going to be importing image color mask those are the two imports that we need to do and then we just adjust this uh, parameter here so what we need to do is have a image factory it's going to be our styled pure image the color mask is going to be image color mask and then we put a back color to it and it's going to be 255, 255, 255, it's pretty much white. So the last thing we need to do, or we need to add to it, is a color mask. Color mask image, which is going to be the logo that we read from Peel. And that's all. So we just need to pass these three parameters, which is this image factory, the color mask, and this color mask image. Those are the three things we need to do. And then we just do QR image.save. We have a QR code with PG or PNG. So let's check again. We have QR code. We import it. We did our import at this point. We created our, P, uh, our QR code. We had the data to it. Had our background image at this point, which is not logo. It should be bg yeah and that's it so we just need to run this and let's see what do we have what's the error message here it says non type as the attribute of read so it couldn't read this particular image uh where is it
yeah that's the error mess that's the error there and i should just double close this yeah that was the error so the error was uh the curly brace which was tricky at this point yeah i just need to, to run this and it's done so we can have a qr code with bg which is sitting pretty nicely here so you can play around with the parameters you can check this out to see if it is working so what we need to do at this point is uh you can just test but that's that's all about it so if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up share with anyone you think might benefit from it we regularly upload tutorials like this one so stay tuned for more content thanks for watching and happy coding